sometimes you got to start the project and then you hit a wall and then you restart and you hit another wall. It just can end up being a rather frustrating experience. What if we just make the stem out of silicone? Until the persistence pays off. It's super repeatable, different colors. You know, there's a lot of added benefits to going that direction. Let us just focus on cutting the tip. And so that's kind of how we quickly navigated from Delta to B. Since there was a lot of criticism towards the design going in this direction, uh, which ended up leading us towards a full silicone stem design. Why don't we just make the whole stem out of silicone? The silicone can, can literally take the place of all of this and still you don't need any o-rings. Silicone is a very stable material. Uh, you see it all over cookware, um, all over the industry that we're in. Um, really, you're starting to see it everywhere. It's incredibly safe, it's durable, and very easy to work with. In order to push prototype and evolution of this product as fast as possible, the way we're gonna go about it is CAD, whatever geometry we want in here, 3D print for molds, and then part A and part B silicone that you mix together and you pour in that mold, so that in a matter of days, we can go through iterations and say, all right, this feels right, this looks right, and get to the point where it's like, okay, this, this is it. Troy took it upon himself to learn how to mold and create molds for silicone parts in our shop. So up to this point, a lot of the tip design that you've seen has been done by Jason, um, whereas the silicone components have been done and uh, trialed by me over in R&D. We've got a couple different molds that we've been iterating through, all with a couple differences. Sure, there's some design changes that were implemented into the molds, but this is really my first experience molding silicone. So it's uh, been trial and error in that sense. Get enough, ooh, it's a good one. I can very easily create some 3D prints to mold them into, uh, and then they should pop right out. Once I go ahead and have them cured, I can go ahead and pull them right out, and it's a very prominent shape. First couple times we were really doing this, we were using like hobby grade silicone. So if you got like simple art projects at home, it's the same stuff that you would use for something like that. Very flexible, not food grade, so not something we can test. I can remember how exhilarating it was to come back from being gone for about a week to see a completely silicone stem and the tip cast in 3D printed molds that really kind of showed and illustrated what this product could look like. So we really found out that it actually works pretty well and molds pretty easily. We kind of decided, all right, let's move to the next step. Let's uh, get some higher durometer silicone. Near final design, we call it the Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese B, Swiss G's, I don't know. It's just one of our parts uh, fresh off the mold, so all the, the flange and the excess is still kind of surrounding the part as a whole. Uh, so immediately after this interview, I get to go clean this guy up. I am cutting off all of the excess silicone that did not mold properly. First time doing this, so we're learning. And this is a good example of why I'm excited to try the new molds. So you kind of see with this one where it just didn't fill on the top. You know, the, the molds are sitting down like this, actually, in, in these clamps here. But so a little bit of gravity doing their thing. So we don't have a very great fill on the top, which is why I'm excited to go back to the funnel design. Because uh, you notice, not a problem we're going to have. So we get parts that may not be exact what we would have from a production mold but they would be close enough, they'd be generally representative. With each mold that we do, we've got a couple improvements to the pouring process, to the curing process itself. I have to cut out air ports. There's a couple other kind of loose hairs sticking out, but for the most part, those are all done. The last couple times I've been doing this, I've really only been getting like one good unit out of say like four molds. What color do you think I should do next? We got brown, green, mango which is just yellow, and then red. I'll just probably dump an entire bottle in of something and see yeah, what happens. We have the, uh, the first prototype of the newly updated silicone design that we've got. Uh, just like any other Dynavat product, we do have the cross-compatible tip. This one happens to be an O-ringless design with that 
half bowls. There is also a condenser. The condenser also happens to be an O-ringless design. So it happens to slip fit into the, the stem that we have here. Very little airflow around the condenser with the exception of two channels that were specifically put in around it. You still have access to your airport. So some regulation in your airflow. Here we are in the, uh, the middle of July, moving forward with B developments. Um, as far as percentages and how, you know, how far we think we are, it is really tough to say. We could say 50%, but there might be issues that pop up. Let's pop this in here, make sure that's a nice fit. Oh, it clicks right in. Yeah, pretty stable. Sure, if we set that guy down, sure enough, there is space under the tip, so the cap won't be touching the table. We're going to continue to make some silicone trials that we kind of see here today and refine that as much as we can, just so we can ensure that our geometries are correct, where we want them. And it's really a product that we're very happy with. And we can pull this fancy guy out too. I don't even know where that came from, but it's just on this desk now. It lives here. 10 millimeter taper, uh, still has an airport, just like an M. The next stage will be getting into the actual manufacturer, so reaching out to suppliers to help us make the silicone components with the rest of the parts machined right here in-house. I think it took about another week to kind of get the design refined, and then we had them old made. It was a little bit of a gamble ordering a thousand. We kind of had to and hope for the best. They have just arrived. They are here. Now you want to get a good whiff of that, good smell. Yeah, I'm actually smelling it. No harsh silicone smell.